Hello there YouTube, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to make a synth that builds in pitch. Um, I got this request from a YouTuber who commented on one of my videos, so I thought I would make him a response. The person who commented was... Uh, let's see... Um, let's see where they're... Oh, here, okay. So, Dan Garcia 93 says he listened to my remix of Paparazzi and at 113 the bass slides down. How do I make that sound? So, let's open up the video real quick. Paparazzi dubstep remix. Hello there, YouTube. Um, so I'm pretty sure he means that one, um, or a similar, or some sort of similar sound. And I'll show you how to make that really quick. So this will probably be a shorter tutorial. So let's get right into it. So you open up a new instrument, and you go down to the ES2 synthesizer, right there. And then, first I'll show you what the idea is, what basically what I'm doing, and then I'll show you sort of how to apply it to a different in, uh, synth. So you go to any synth, um, let's take, I don't know, uh, Classic Techno 3 is a good one, so let's try that. way down. Alright, so you can take any synth really, and pretty much what you're doing is when you open up a new synth, this thing will be kind of full, so you can ignore all this. You want to go to a new insert in your router, and then go to pitch 1, 2, 3. What that does is it takes pitch of the first oscillator, second oscillator, and third oscillator, and you can change how, how high the pitch goes depending on what you enable. So you go up to pitch 1, 2, 3. Pitch 1 corresponds to the pitch of the first oscillator, 2, the second, third, and so forth. So you go to pitch 1, 2, 3 so you control the pitch of all three at the same time. And then you go down, instead of LFO 1, you go down to LFO 2. Which if, you, if the orange line is above, the the DC right there it'll it'll be uh, timed to um, a rate of hertz which is mean which means repetitions per second. If you go below the line, it's timed to the song. So we're at 120 beats per minute, and this will be uh, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, down to all the way to 32 bars. And you can have like one bar stuff like that, and you can have triplets too. That's what D stands for. I mean, that's what T stands for. And then, uh, if you can hear, there's no change. So what you do is you go to, say, fourth notes, as an example. And you can see that it starts going up and down. The thing is, if you want it to go straight up and then start over, then you have to change the waveform. What, it, what, it, what you have here is you have it so it goes up, and then down, and then up, and then down, sort of like in a continuous wave. What you want is you either want it to go all the way up, and then start over, or all the way down and start over. If you want it to go down, you click on the, the, the waveform that's facing downwards, like that. And then the higher you put it, the, the greater the distance that it travels when it's down tuning. So you can hear what that sounds like. You can do it the other way as well. <clears throat> so that's how you uh, manipulate the pitch. That's the sound that you're getting. Um, the example of the synth that um, Dan is talking about is something that sounds sort of like this. Let me just fix it real quick. And 
and um, something like that. I don't know, but it's, it's some sort of uh, just dubstep synth that is uh, an upward cutoff, that type of thing, and it, it's down tuning. So what you do is you go to your router, and then you do pitch one two three again. And then you time it to LFO2. And then instead of bringing it up, you bring it down. And you can do this with any synth that you want. And that's basically how you add pitch automation to a synth that's timed to the song. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want help uh, making this synth that I have here, let me know, and I'll make a separate video. Uh, I hope this helps, Dan. Uh, this was sort of a shorter video, so if you have any follow-up questions, message me, and I will give you some more tips. But this is a more basic video than it seems. It seems a little bit complicated, but um, when, when you're listening to a song or trying to figure out how to do something, it seems complicated, but it's, it's pretty simple once you learn the techniques. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think, and I'll be back with another video sometime this week. Thanks. After uh, finishing the first video, I realized that I have the opportunity to give a pretty cool side tip. Um, logical load. There we go. Uh, something really awesome that you can do. Actually, I'll go back to this one. Alright, something really cool that you can do is you can have the pitch go up. Um, and have it sort of like the wave that goes up and down. Or let's see if which one goes faster. Alright, so you want to put it on LFO1, which is a, uh, it's not timed, so it just goes. And then you don't want any cutoff. And check this out. Um, go to pan. And then you go LFO1, and just put a little bit. So you can hear it. If you, I would recommend listening with stereo headphones or like two two speakers at the same time. Um, something where you can hear two separate ears. If you're listening with laptop speakers, it's obviously a lot harder. But um, if you put it all the way, and then it's sort of panning back and forth, and then you can bring the the speed up, and you can get this really cool. Thing. Really awesome sounding. It's just a little quick tip I thought I'd throw, that, throw in there. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>